Okay, let us discuss eighth problem. The height of a cylinder is equal to its radius. So, what do you mean by this one? The height of a cylinder is equal to radius means r is equal to h or h is equal to r. If an error of 1 percent is made in its height, that means delta h by h into 100 is given 1 percent. Then the percentage error in its volume we have to find out. So, that means first of all, so let us make a plan or let us devise a pro plan to solve this problem. The volume of a cylinder is given by V is equal to C V is equal to 1 by 3 pi r square h we know it is in two variables. So, with the help of the given condition this can be made into single variable. So, that means this r value is replaced by h h square into h h cube. Now, very simple we can find out ok only one twist is there in this problem. So, now let us solve this problem. Okay. Hint. So, what is given in this problem? Height is equal to radius or r is equal to h and delta h by h into 100 given that is 1 percent. So, what is to be calculated or evaluated? Delta v by v into 100 is equal to how much? Since it is the problem related to the cylinder, so in introduction part we have discussed the what is the volume of a cylinder. The volume of the cylinder is given by pi r square h. So, now here in this regarding particular problem, so this can be changed, v can be changed as a function of one variable. So, here r is replaced by h. So, this we becomes pi h cube. Now, easily we can write percentage error in value. So, pi is constant leave it delta v by v into 100 is equal to 3 times delta h by h into 100. Just if you observe in the problem this is given. So, now this is 3 times 1. So, 3 percent. So, which is the right option? So, fourth one is the right option. A ninth problem. So, ninth problem is related to the actually pressure and volume. So, that means gas. Here, pressure P and volume V of a gas are connected by the relation or equation P V to the power of P V to the power of 1 by 4 is equal to constant, where constant is C. The percentage increase in P corresponding to the diminution or decreasing of half percent in the volume is. So, that means, how to analyze this problem means, here relationship between P and V is given that is P into V to the power of 1 by 4 is equal to C, providing C is constant. And what is given here? Decreasing the percentage of decreasing in the volume is given. That means, delta V by V into 100 is equal to minus half percent is given. And what we you are asked to find out? You are asked to find out delta P by P into 100. We know that as for this relation as volume decreases the pressure increases. So, that means, the increase in pressure the percentage of increase in the pressure we have to calculate it. That means, you are asked to find out delta P by P into 100. Okay. So, now here you can note down this hint regarding this problem. What is given? Delta V by V into 100 given 
that is half percent, but minus half percent. Why? Decreasing or diminution. So, delta P by P into 100, we have to find out. This is to be calculated. We have the relation P v to the power of 1 by 4 is equal to constant. You leave the constant, do not worry. Now, dimension of P is 1. This we can write delta P by P into 100 plus this we can write 1 by 4 into delta V by V into 100 is equal to constant means 0. We write down. Here we require to find out delta P by P into 100. If you take that side that becomes negative minus 1 by 4 into delta V by V into 100. I hope already you might have got the answer. This is given minus half percent minus 1 by 4 into minus half that is 1 by 8 percent increase which is the right option. Yes, third one is the right option. Tenth problem. The percentage error in measuring the side of a cube is 0 0.5. Then the percentage error in its volume is. So, this problem is related to the cube. Already we have discussed in the our introduction session. So, let the let x be the side of a cube, its surface area is 6 x square or 4 x square, total surface area is 6 x square and volume is x cube. With the help of that we can find out percentage error in its value. So, regarding to the problem what is given here? The percentage error in measuring the side of a cube. Let x be the side of a cube. Delta x by x into 100 is given. And what we are asked? You are asked to find out delta v by v into 100. So, v is equal to x cube. What is the dimension of x? 3. So, delta V by V into 100 is equal to 3 times percentage error in X that is 3 times 0 0.5, 3 into 0 0.5 is how much? 1.5 that is 3 by 2. So, option is 3 by 2 itself or very simple multiply 0 0.5 into 3 you get your answer. 0 0.5 means 1 by 2, 3 into 1 by 2 is 3 by 2. So, third one is the our required option, but moreover let us do the problem. Here, let x be the side of a cube. Side of a cube. According to the problem, what is given here? Delta x by x into 100, that is 0 0.5, means 1 by 2, 5 by 10 is 1 by 2. So, we know that volume of a cube is v is equal to x cube. So, delta v by v into 100 is equal to, we know the shortcut, 3 into delta x by x into 100. So, this is known 1 by 2. So, this is equal to 3 times 1 by 2, 3 by 2 or 1.5. So, which is the right option in this one? So, 3 by 2. Sometimes instead of 3 by 2, 1.5 also may be given. 